In this video, I'll show you how to split tracks in Studio One. It's really easy to do this, and I've got a voiceover session that I've loaded into Studio One. Here you can see it's from one of our voiceover artists, nicely laid out into different uh, bits that I want to split up into different sections to use in a production. So in order to do this, well, I could just sort of select various areas and do delete like that and split it up into separate areas, and, and that's perfectly fine. That works, that's okay. It's probably not the most intuitive way of doing things, so I can undo all of that and and I can work differently. And one of my favorite ways to do this is simply by using this tool up here, the split tool. Now I can select it and make it live, and then I can make my splits wherever I want and split the track into as many pieces as I need. But better than that, if I still want to keep the tools that I had already, I can do that. Then I can hold down Command or Control, click on these tools, and select an alternative tool, the Split tool here. And that means whenever I hold down Command or Control on a PC, I will get the Split tool or the Cut tool up ready to use as I wish. So I can zoom right in on this piece of audio at each section I want to cut, right in, fine grain, find exactly the place I want to cut just at the start of this. Notice how it snaps there to the start of the speech, which is a handy feature. Control or Command, boom, and I've done a split right there. And I can also do a split at the end, just about here. If I want it more accurate, of course, again, I can zoom right in and put that split there. And then I can zoom out and I can go all the way along and place those wonderful uh, splits exactly where they need to be in my production. And it's very, very easy using the Cut tool or indeed just highlighting sections and deleting like so you can split things into multiple bits and then you've got your multi tool here your multi action tool here select if you're at the top of a waveform or move around if you're at the bottom of a waveform and the best thing if I'm splitting this up into different things I can actually drag it down and it pops open a new track for me so I can make many new tracks with many new features and for instance if I wanted to go into uh, browse and bring in some wonderful um, analog delay effect, I could put that on one channel only, start setting that up, while another channel could have, for instance, a bit crusher on it, and I can do different effects on different tracks, splitting them all up into different segments in Studio One. It's super easy, super intuitive, and I suppose if you're watching this, you're really interested in Studio One. In that case, I recommend you go and watch Strip Silence. It's on your screen now, and uh, Strip Silence in Studio One, it's really very good. Go and try it out, watch the video.